right, Shalom. Kwahala, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rukhakwadash. Double honors to the head apostles, a great millstone that rule well. And peace and salutations to Yahaki and Malti on the highways and byways. That's noise in this road abroad, all around the country and all around the world. Now I want to get into this topic. Um, it's concerning the book of Luke, the twenty-one, the twenty-first chapter. You know, and um, pretty much in the book of Luke, the twenty-first chapter, Yahweh Shai prophesies, you know, the signs of his coming. You know, because the um the disciples that were with them, they asked them, you know, what would be the signs of your coming. And Yahweh Shai left them the signs and the hints for them in these last days, which now, you know, we're reincarnated back in the flesh, you know, and we're in the in these times right now where Yahweh Shai, you know, where the prophecies are starting to come to pass. Then, you know, the elder apostle Taha dubbed this year the year of prophecy. You know, because right now we're starting to see prophecy come to pass right before our very eyes. And I just want to get into um some of the signs in this um chapter that Yahweh Shai left for us to watch. I'm going to start off with the book of, um, I'm going to start off with the, um, with the seventh verse right here. And it says, and they asked him, saying, Master, but when shall these things be? And what signs will be there? Will there be when these things shall come to pass? And he answered and said, Take heed that ye, take heed that ye be not deceived, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am the anointed, and shall, and and the time draweth near. Go ye not therefore after them. You know, we just had that. You know, we had that. Right. You know, we see that. You know, in these times. You know, you had Jim Jones saying that he was the anointed. Ben Amin. You know, he said that he was the anointed. You know, and countless others. You know, and the list goes on and on. That said that they were the anointed, you know. And they, they had deceived many. But Yahweh Shai warned us not to go after them, you know. But, verse 9. But when ye shall hear of wars and commotions, be not terrified. For these things must first come to pass, but the end is not by and by, you know. Which means that, you know, you, we hear wars and, and commotions. Are we hearing commotions over there in the Middle East? You know, in particular, you know, the war over there with Afghanistan in America. You know, them Arabs over there. You know, and they finally admitted, you know, America finally admitted after 17 years that they cannot defeat the Taliban. That they cannot defeat them Ishmaelites over there. You know. And also other commotions such as, you know, thermonuclear peace treaties or, you know, the the non development of nuclear weapons, you know. The development of nuclear weapons, you know, America trying to police the whole world and tell telling nations to give up their nuclear capability, you know. You got you got Donald Trump reinstating those sanctions that they had on, um, that they lifted off of Iran. Now you got Donald DJ Trump, you know, reinstating those sanctions and putting those sanctions back on Iran. You know, and countless others. You, know, you got the situation with Jake over there, the southern tribe, the northern tribe, actually, you know, which that are trying to come over the borders, you know, 
DJ Trump, you know, deploying U.S. troops over along the borders, you know. And it says, be not terrified for these things must first come to pass, but the end is not by and by. Verse 10. Then he said unto them, Nations shall rise against nations, and kingdom against kingdom. You know, which you see that right now. Verse 11. And great earthquakes shall be in diverse places, and famine, and pestilence, and fearful sights, and fearful sights, you know. What are fearful sights and great signs? Fearful sights, as you know, you got um, creatures, you know, that, you know, Esau is seeing, you know. In particular, they like to call one particular creature Bigfoot, you know. You got these Edomites that are, you know, seeing these these creatures. And they're, they're terrified of these creatures that they're seeing. They're calling the police, you know. <laughs> And, uh, and everything. And great sights. What's the great sights? You know, those UFOs, you know. Those identify flying objects, you know, which are, which we call IFOs because we could identify them as the chariots of the Heavenly Father, you know. Which are, which operates those um chariots, you know. Which are the angels of the Heavenly Father that operates those chariots. You know, those are the great sights that people are seeing. You know, those are the sights. You know, the flying roll. You know, let me let me just get that in the book of um, Zechariah 5 and 1. Because you're going to see a lot of these um, chariots, you know, that are going to start revealing themselves. And they're revealing themselves right now as we speak. I myself seen, you know, a couple of chariots, you know. So this is the book of Zechariah, chapter five, verse one. Then I turned and lifted up my eyes and lo and looked, behold, a flying roll, you know, that flying roll is that, you know, like in particular, you know, they like to call it flying saucers. You know, but that's the chariots of the heavenly father. And he said unto me, what seest thou? And I answered and I see, I see a flying roll. The length thereof is 20 cubits and the breadth thereof is 10 cubits. Then said unto, unto me, this is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the earth. Over the face of the whole earth. For everyone that stealeth shall be cut off. As on the side according to it. And everyone that sweareth shall be cut off. As the. As that side according to it. You know. So that's the curse that go. You know the curse on the evil. the um the southern tribe which consists of Judah, Benjamin and Levi. Did he not stolen us and bring us over here to America? You know? And does he does he does he swear for on the Bible and in in his in his in his court system? In his court justice that he set up? Don't he look don't he not make people put their hand on the Bible and he tell them to swear to tell the truth and nothing but the truth? The whole truth, the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So that 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 fits this kingdom to a T, you know. And Babylon the Great, aka you know America, aka Babylon the Great. You know that fits that that fits that to a T. That's America for you. 
another one back. A great sign shall there be from heaven. But before all these, they shall lay their hands on you and persecute you and deliver you up to the synagogues and into prison, being, being brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake. You know? So which brothers will be hemmed up you know, we'll be martyrs for this truth, you know, and we'll be hemmed up. Verse 13, and it shall turn, and it shall turn to you for a testimony. Yeah. Verse 14, settle it therefore in your hearts. Not to, not to mandate before what they shall answer. I will give you a mouth and wisdom which all your adversaries shall not be able to be able to gain say nor resist. You know, because ultimately. those rulers and council, you know, before Esau's council and Esau's wicked, you know, ways. Because the Most High is going to, Yahweh Bakshem Yahweh Shai is going to put us, put it in our house, hearts what to say in that hour. You know? Verse 16. And ye shall be betrayed both by parents and brethren and kinfolk and friends. And some of you shall they cause to be put to death. You know, like I said, brothers are gonna be martyrs in this truth, you know. Because there are gonna be great betrayals, you know, just like Yahweh Shai, you know, was betrayed by Judas Iscariot, you know. And he delivered, you know, our Lord Yahweh unto the, the Roman soldiers. The same likewise is going to happen in these times. By our parents and brethren and kinfolk and friends. You know? We're going to be betrayed by our own families, you know, and our friends. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. Verse 18. But they shall not and hear of your your head perish. In your patience perceive ye your souls. Verse 25, and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth distress of nations with perplexity, the seas war roaring, and the waves roaring, you know. And we're seeing that now. We're seeing signs in the suns and in the moons and the stars, you know, shooting stars, you know. <laughs> yeah, you got the blood moons, you know, the lunar eclipses, you know, super moons, you know. Eclipses, solar eclipses. You know, these are the signs of the times that are taking place. You know, we're in these times right now. And upon the earth, the stress of nations. You look everywhere you turn, you know, when you turn on Russia t today, you know, all these alternative news stations. All you see is all nations being, you know, distressed, you know. 
You got Iran over there, you know, catching all kind of hell due to the sanctions that America's put on them. You know, you got, you know, Afghanistan catching hell, you know, the Palestinians over there catching hell. You know, you got, you know, over there in Greece, you know, certain sections of Greece, you know, you got those people over there catching hell. Mainly all around the world, you know, especially in um, South America, our people, you know, in the Caribbean islands, you know. And not last but not least, you know. Last but not least. Mm -hmm. And last but not least, you know, you got America, you know. You got our people catching hell over here in America. You know, under the uh, under the rules of the so-called white man. Verse 26, men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after the, those things which are coming upon the earth. For the powers of the heavens shall be shaken, shall be shaken, you know, which, you know, that's Esau's rulership. Because <coughs> you're going to have... World War Three, you know the the war to end all wars taking place, and while that's and while that's taking place, you're gonna have the Son of Man, which says it right here in verse twenty um twenty seven, and then shall they see the Son of Man coming in the clouds, with with power and great glory. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up. Your heads for your redemption draw off nigh, you know. Because our redemption is draw off nigh, you know. Because we're just right around the corner from redemption, you know. Pretty much right now, you know, we're just waiting for that, you know, that great tribulation to sink in, you know. And after we surpass and get past this, this wave of that great tribulation, you know. Then Lord's will, you know, if we're a part of that election body, you know, we'll be delivered in those chariots and we'll receive those crowns of glory. And until then, we just got to persevere and continue to fight the good fight of faith. And with that, I want to say Shalom.